President Donald Trump has retaliated for what the U.S. calls a horrific chemical weapons attack by the Syrian regime. The Syrians call the strike blatant aggression, and today we're hearing what U.S. lawmakers are calling the president's order. The world is reacting today to Thursday night's U.S. airstrikes in Syria. U.S. Navy warships in the eastern Mediterranean launched 59 cruise missiles against a Syrian military base. The missiles destroyed Syrian aircraft, bunkers, and weapon depots. It's a response to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad after U.S. intelligence teams say he used deadly nerve gas to kill at least 100 people. There can be no dispute that Syria used banned chemical weapons, violated its obligations under the chemical weapons convention. The president approved the mission after discussing with his military and national security teams. But we Without spoke with Virginia Congress Senator Tim Kaine, who says he forgot to consult with Congress. But let's be very, very clear about this. The initiation of military action, missile strikes are an act of war, without a vote of Congress is unlawful. Congressman Bobby Scott released a statement saying in part, the missile strikes launched by President Trump last night appear to be a proportional and justified response to these latest atrocities. However, the president must present a comprehensive plan to Congress and the American people on how his administration intends to address the situation. Senator John McCain is applauding the president's decision. It's a signal that the president of the United States is listening carefully to the best national security team that I've seen. The White House says leaders from across the globe are applauding the action. Officials in Russia, however, have condemned the launch.